But when he finally gets a look at the air traffic control radar record, Richard Wentworth is convinced that Walter White should have been able to see the Piper. We were able to determine that the aircraft that collided with Aeromexico was there to be seen. So why hadn't White reacted to the Kramer's plane if it was on his radar? When Walter White came to work that day, the arrival station was being controlled by Carl Grundman. Hey, Carl, how's it going? Hey, slow... Grundman believes that long-standing radar problems were the reason White didn't see the Kramer's plane. I can sit in for you. Controllers have been complaining about the radars for a long time. Here's buddy. All right, thanks a lot. We had reported problems with the radar uh, not picking up targets several times. When radar signals strike a target, they bounce back to the receiver. But if buildings or mountains interrupt the radar, the return signal can disappear. You may lose one target. You may lose two targets. It may not be presented for one sweep. Did you see the Piper Cherokee on your scope? No, sir. But that doesn't mean that the target isn't there. A blind spot is only an instantaneous thing. It's not a continuous thing. I think I lost one. There were also holes that were just because the radar was old. It was just not as accurate as it might have been. It was not state-of-the-art equipment, that's for darn sure. There's an effect called flicker. When a computer becomes overloaded, the scope will flicker. Every now and then, targets will drop out or can drop out. We reviewed that data. We had no evidence that there were any malfunctions of any systems in Los Angeles. 